Eh yeah, niaje machamp niko hapa. Leo nimetembea area fulani niko na boys wangu wa nguvu sana ni Twawili. But wasi wengi wanamjua kama Shuja Fitness. Ni mse kama vile mnaona tuko kwa setup yake hapa. E, ni mse amejituma sana na story ya fitness. Ni mse nimeongea naye behind the scenes amekuwa na journey amazing sana ya fitness. Ya yeah, so ni mse nataka tupige story na yeye leo. Tujue wili ni nani? Journey yake ya fitness imeanzia wapi? Anafanyanga shughuli gani? Shuja Fitness ilianzaje? Like ana hope ku achieve nini na hii journey yake ya fitness? Ya yeah, tuendele kujua watu wetu wenye wana deal na hizi shughuli. Eh na I hope kuna vitu tutalearn. Vitu moja mbili tatu. So keep it locked, subscribe manze, comment, share. Kama uko na maswali pia utatuuliza. Handles zake atawa show, but place mob utapata Instagram pale utampata Shuja Fitness, TikTok Shuja Fitness. Ya yeah, ataendelea ata kueleza hizo social media handles zingine. So wili, karibu sana leo. Sorry. Wili ndo wanafanya nga podcast. Yeye <laughs> ndo anauliza nga watu maswali, uh, but nimekuja kwa setup yake. Na mimi ndo namuuliza <laughs> maswali leo. Eh, so yeye ndo on the receiving end, but ni, ni msero safi sana. Ni mse knowledgeable sana. Yeah, so wacha tusikize tujue jani ya wili iko aje. So wili karibu sana. Asante bro. Thanks for your time bro. Thank you. Na appreciate sana. Mm. Eh, na issue gli unafanya ni kitu na feel. Itasaidia wase sana. Asante. Eh, Tukiendelea kupush hivi. Tukipata yeah. watu wawili watatu wenye tunafanya issue gli. Yeah. Na feel tutaenda mbali sana bro. Sa. Yeah, so bro before tuendele sana. Mm-hmm. Like tueleze wili ni nani. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, umegrow ya wapi bro. Mm-hmm. Labda hizi shugli za fitness. Yeah. Nikitu umesomea. Mm. Interest yako bro ilianzia wapi? Yeah. Story ya Shuja Fitness ilianzia wapi bro? Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, at least yani wase kwa wale wa kujui wajue story ya wili. Yeah, asante sana for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, like umesema the script has been flipped yeah. when you're in interview. So this is the, the first experience na get ku ku tell my story. Yeah. Uh, but I appreciate it and who am I? So yeah. Shuja Fitness is a manifestation of my love for fitness. Yeah. Um, before I studied fitness, before I even came up with this brand, yeah. kulikuwa na hiyo love. Kulikuwa na my own personal journey yenye ilianza. Okay, tuseme realistically ilianza nikiwa high school. Yeah. Nikiwa high school, hata nikiwa like, tuseme nikiwa mtoi jo. Yeah. Nikiwa mtoi nikwa mtoi mchabi yeah. uh, like i said before to interview ni yeah. kwa goalkeeper yeah. <laughs> watu wanaona uwe kwa goalkeeper mali <laughs> yeah. activities ni mi, <laughs> yeah. minimal sana exactly so yeah. mimi ni kwa goalie ni kwa goalie msawa wa jo yeah. ni kwa na hiyo practice really? <laughs> but um, for the most part i was a chubby kid not very strong yeah. not that active yeah. not very good in sports yeah. uh, but i had the interest in terms of wanting to play basketball so i went to as i was going to school I would participate in sports here and there but not too seriously. Lakini nilikuwa na ako ka insecurity yeah. ya kwa mchabi nini mm. nini. So kuna times nilikuwa na try ku hepa, ku try ku lose weight nini. Yeah. Not nothing too serious but savage in high school. Yeah. High school nika lose weight sana. Jo yeah. I think nikaanza ku take running very seriously. Yeah. So I started running a lot. Uh, I took basketball a lot more serious. Nika yeah. join high school team. Yeah. So tulikuwa tunaenda provis nini. Yeah. So ilibidi ufanye practice, yeah. ufanye my body weight exercise nini. Yeah. Yeah. So from that point sana nikaanza kuona exercise iko na effect. Yeah. Now the 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 methods niko natumia azikuwa the best. Yeah. Just niko na restrict Kenya na kula yeah. na niko na kimbia sana. Yeah. So obviously niko lose weight. Uka pungua kabisa. kabisa eh. Lakini strength yeah. haikuwa bad strength eh. haiko. Na hiyo body unadhani unaweza get eh. haikuwa ina come. Exactly. So bado niko na hiyo uncertainty like eh. what what is this whole fitness thing about yeah. ni nini? Fast forward nikaingia kole around 2012 eh uh, kwa maju yeah. na unajua maju fitness yu kuanga kila mtu aenda gym fitness is very big it's a right? lifestyle yeah. yeah for most people yeah. um so in and, and then in college when you're amongst yeah. young men yeah. everyone works out yeah. so uko na classmates flani wako na hiyo dedication ya ukweli kuna wanaume ni ni lean kweli. ni strong ni big yeah. unaanza kuuliza maswali unaona eh hey, umse bana as in ana take lifestyle seriously na unaona results ni kitu yani kwake ni lifestyle yeah, yani for kabisa. real yeah. so hiyo ndio my first experience kwa around watu wana take fitness seriously do i feel like uko home yeah. fitness ni kimbia hata <coughs> yeah. my trainers wetu wa high school basketball 
walikuwa wanashinda waki emphasize ati fitness 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 yeah. lakini fitness ya anakuambia ni ni kukimbia, kukimbia. Yeah. so before wanze training mnakimbia sijui wapi yeah, barabara yeah. nini unakam at least ndio sababu mwanze mwanze bake so yo 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 theory ilikuwa ingrained in my head yeah. but sana na interact na wasi wanasema ah mimi chapa weights mostly Kweli. nini nini so nikaanza ku do my own research pole pole yeah. youtube yeah. youtube ilikuwa big so Kambisa. for me my personalities were youtube nini ndio sana nilikuwa na watch every day nikirudi home na watch wasi wa youtube yeah. waki explain kenya na kula nini mm. na watch my training videos uh, na pia Thankfully college yetu ilikuwa na ma partnerships uh, ma gym yeah. so una get discount yeah. so nilikuwa na get discount na share gym nini yeah. so nikasema eh lazima ni take kitu serious yeah. juu hii mwili ya ase inaka at least yani unaona yeah, una, una result kifanya 1 2 3 naweza kaka kama hawa naweza kaka hawa si yeah. so obviously venye tu ulisema nikiku interview yeah. obviously unataka demo akikuangalia yeah. shirt yako ina fit poa nini poa. Yeah. 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 so nilikuwa na hiyo psych nikaanza ku join gym uh, Jumi ni introvert yeah. nilikuwa na hiyo fear ya kuongea na watu kwa yeah, gym yeah. so nilikuwa na wanawacha tu nifanye research yangu yeah. nikam gym ni jaribu kufanya kufanya uh, experimentation pale experiment yangu yeah. but obviously ilikuwa na ma challenges more yeah. progress pia ilikuwa slow Ina sana slow. so naweza advise mtu ukianza seek help exactly step one seek help yeah. that's the best thing you can do for yourself yeah So although I mean I learned and I feel like it was part of my journey and it's the reason why I'm passionate about sharing yeah. information about fitness myself yeah. so I just did my experimentation and just like you mentioned yeah. yourself it took so long to get results kabisa eh hey, it take long na kumbuka kuna hii kuna mira fulani kalikuwa kwa kwa place nilikuwa na stay yeah nikipita hiyo mira kila time kwa nati unajiangalia unajiangalia eh. mkono nini i grow <laughs> like the first time niliona hiyo growth hapo sasa ndio inakuwa ni kama unakuwa obsessed kabisa eh. eh, wasio wakikuwa kwa gym pia wanakuuliza eh mazi umechange eh, nini mwili wako unaanza eh. kuchange so eh. ukipata hizo ma compliments sasa ndio eh. una feel like Inas- unaona eh like ukipata results inakuangani addiction ni addictive from eh. that from that moments kuangalia and for me ilikuwa arms yeah. arms ndio zilianza ku show the first time yeah um the, as far as results yeah. so the moment watu walianza ku notice nikaanza ku notice yeah. ngo, ngo na vazi na fit hey, different yeah. yeah so yo yo ikanishika ikakuwa just a part of my life and from from 2012 till today yeah imekuwa something that has carried me through everything yeah. um unajua kuna hii narrative ya wase uenda maju yeah. life na at life ni poa ni eh, life ni but kuna hizo struggles za huko pia yeah. juu kuna times una job una eh, do eh. ata folks wakikutumia do haezi tosha haezi tosha. tosha so lazima ujitume pia so through all those struggles nini kupata job kumaliza chuo ku do job ukiwa chuo yeah. nini fitness was the one thing that i could always go to that gave me that grounding yeah niki 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 work out me feel nika my day is balanced mm. it 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 became something for me that was more than just the physical yeah. it became a way for me to manage my my mental my stress, stress. yani ukiwa na pressure Absurd. it your... just goes away when i go to the gym exactly i i can't believe i can say those words because there's a time where nikiingia gym gym inaka place intimidating hey. wase wa gym wanaka intimidating yani una feel it's a lot of work yeah. hey, iko na pressure mingi but today yeah. siezi ona my day without a workout yeah. without a good workout i love gyms i love experiencing new gyms yeah. nikienda gym mpya yeah. new like wana e gym wako na nini wako na nini nika playground it's exactly. like e gym yeah. wako na ma equipment jai tumia unapata hiyo excitement hey. yani mtu ni staff The only way unaweza understand hiyo feeling yeah. ni yeah. we mwenyewe kuingia kwa fitness, mm. we into fitness. Mm. It's the only way unaona kama mimi akisema tu yani na feel, yani <laughs> yani already na picture hiyo environment yangu. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so ni poa sana bro. Yeah. Na when I feel when the right person kumuuliza hii swali. We at least umepata hiyo exposure bro ya kwenda maju, umeenda umesomea huko na venye umesema maju fitness wana take serious sana. Una feel ni kwa nini locally like fitness haina hiyo uzito like mm. kwa nini wase hawaja embrace fitness sana hivyo kama maju mm. juu hata hii content yenye tunafanya fitness 
ukiangalia majuu like iko everywhere lakini locally ni kama kuna hiyo kuna hiyo shortage yani kuna hiyo gap like watu hawana hiyo understanding na si ati hakuna professionals ati hakuna watu wanafanya issue ni ile yani awareness na wale watu wako na hiyo information they are not sharing mm. eh, unafeeli yani shida inaweza kuwa wapi yeah. na tunaweza saidikaje mm. kama industry hata kama hatutafika huko at least to improve mm. tutoke mali tuko i think so as someone may get your opportunity your privilege ya ku travel yeah. kuna venye ukitoka home unaweza analyze home kutoka mbali yeah. in many ways yeah. your own family yeah. yourself yeah. when you will grow unaweza ku analyze those small things that the underlying things that make what your culture is as a whole yeah. and i feel like when it comes to kenya as a country yeah. um, the what you'd call the the ethos yeah. or the idea the main yeah. idea that guides how we relate to each other as kenyans yeah. kuna a level of selfishness yeah. kuna a level of nika niko akimake it mm. ame amefanya ni lose exactly and if and i need to protect everything i have yeah. away from him yeah. so that he doesn't touch what i have going on yeah and because if i share yeah. he'll run away yeah. and you yeah. know so i feel like kuna hiyo distrust kuna na ni kitu una battle nayo sana especially uki, uki rudi home yeah. jo una unapata hiyo ni mentality iko places mob si fitness peke yake exactly. so i think kuna a way as kenyans we relate to each other yeah. that hopefully is changing because there's open minded people yeah. like yeah. yourself yeah. doing Kwele. things like this that are so helpful yeah. na tu, ni juu tume kwa expose hata kama uja travel umeji expose to hey, at least unajua sawa through internet at least una, yeah. unaangalia mm. unaona like unajiuliza maswali unajiulizaje mm. like kwa nini wili aoni value yenye mimi nampatia mm. unaona mm. ni sawa bro unaweza kuwa place yenye uko uko place juu but of course ulianzia mahali of course unaona yeah. so mimi huwa niko na ile mindset na naamini ya kwamba ukipata mtu kuna kitu yenye like anajaribu kupass across jaribu kuiangalia in a wide perspective mm. unaona jaribu kuangalia kitu wenye mtu anasema inaweza saidia watu aje mm. unaona jua i feel hiyo kitu wenye ume explain ndio pia mimi na feel like mtu anaangalia na kuona mimi si feel kama huyu mtu kuna value yenye ananipatia mm. so na feel labda tuki share ama tukipiga session ama tukikuwa na interview na yeye ni kama mimi namsaidia sana mm-hmm. lakini au angali hiyo interview ama hiyo session mm. inaweza saidia wase wangapi yeah. unaelewa yeah. cuz hiyo platform yako we kuongea mm wale watu itafikia inaweza change lives za so many people mm-hmm. unaelewa mm-hmm. na vile wanasemanga kando la ipote zangi mwangaza juu ya kuwa light ingine kiki light kando lingine mm. ya yeah, so hiyo ni kitu yenye mimi na feel like ume explain poa sana na ni at least ni poa ume clarify hiyo nini yangu juu sana unajua zile vitu unaona mimi sasa sijapata hiyo opportunity ya kwa ati nimesomea majua ama kitu kama hiyo mm-hmm. but at least unajua sasa zingine pia internet huwezi jua like vitu zingine tu pia ni script na nini mm-hmm. but sasa wewe umeishi your lifestyle yeah. like umeona wase waki embrace fitness mm-hmm. ni big huko mm-hmm. na na feel pia hiyo knowledge umekam nayo na hiyo experience yenye umepata nayo huko na feel inaweza inaweza change lives za yeah. wase wengi sana yeah and by the way i'm so so those are things that at this point in my life ndio zinaanza ku sink in vizuri yeah ju i think kuna wase wengi ju tulikuwa nao yeah, maju yeah. kuna wase who take your opportunity very lightly yeah. na i think for the most part au ndio wase yeah. watu hujua yeah. unaisha maju ni happy yeah. tei nini yeah. nini yeah. nini yeah. kuonyesha wase venye unaishi yeah, maisha vlaje yeah, exactly lakini au onyeshi au onyeshi wase venye uli struggle exactly. ama pali unaishi si place poor exactly. compared to hawa wase wengine yeah. pali uko yeah. si place ati unaweza hey. kuishi hey. nini hey. so wase wengi wana struggle by the way yeah. si ati life majuni rahisi yeah. but i think kwa realistic ni kitu i don't think ni kitu ni kitu tu i, I guess una raise yeah. wanayo venye we ka indivi, mseka wewe yeah. tukiongea na wewe na yeah. tell uko na hiyo awareness exactly. no matter where you are i know yeah. nico will be the reasonable person in the room yeah. and i think those things are just amplified with yeah. experiences yeah. and i'm grateful and god my family wamempatia hiyo yeah. the ability yeah. the, the opportunity yeah. to to experience things and hopefully now we can make I can synthesize these things yeah. kusaidia watu wengine. Yeah. Um tuache 
tupunguze hiyo hate yeah. tupunguze hiyo suspicion yeah. um ju ma- i think ni ignorance too ignorance yeah ju ni ignorance too bro i think pia ju tuko nchi yenye nika opportunities maybe see mobs yeah, sana yeah. so labda watu wame grow wakiona mtu akipata opportunity yeah, yes. anachukua opportunity exactly. yako ah, so i think hiyo mentality inaanza ku yeah yeah ku yeah. first time in mm. all our all our dealings with each yeah. other mm. in a make life hard eh, inafanya nini na kuwa hard yeah. na in reality the opposite ndio true exactly. naelewa like tuki, tukishikana tu bro mm. naelewa na kushikana si maanisha tu unashikana na anyone mm. naona mm ni na feel uki uki feel mtu ana push the same agenda yenye wewe ndio una deal nayo si lazima mimi wanasema tuseme kama hii podcast yako yenye unafanya the best support yenye mtu anaweza kupatia ni time tu yeah. ni ku sacrifice a bit of time akam mkuwe na conversation mm. hii conversation kitu ya kwanza inasaidia growth yako mm-hmm. unaelewa na inasaidia mtu hapa nje mm-hmm. juu hii content tunafanya ndio watu wasikie mm-hmm unaelewa mm-hmm. so the moment we ni pro na una come una share hata mm-hmm. pia wewe mwenyewe sitakusaidia kama kuna mtu wako anakujua ama mm-hmm. kama kuna follower huko ana yeye ama kuna mtu wako anajua hiyo aspect ya maisha yako yeah. unajua sasa si wewe unajua story za social media wasa mm-hmm. wanakucriticize wasa mm-hmm. wanasema wewe msiana kwanga na maringo nini na ni kwa sababu you don't speak out yeah. but the moment you speak out unaona mtu sasa ana understandaje ah kumbe hata wili si msiana kwanga na mambo yeah. wili yeah. ni msem calm labda mm-hmm. mtu akikuangalia tu hivi image anaweza yeah. sema umse na kama ringo yeah. umse hata ajui shida lakini yeah. sasa unaona the moment ume, ume no, speak out yeah. mtu ana relate na wewe and i think hiyo ni kitu nime reflect sana yeah. ju i know for a fact that kuna watu wengi i mean wakisikia ah uh, umse alienda maju yeah, exactly. alisoma ya maju exactly. uni babi yeah, uni, yeah. uni cool kid ajui shida ajui shida sasa umse anatuambia eh yeah. anaweza anaweza nipatie yeah. value yeah. gani yeah. but i think that's where the problem begins yeah, yeah. and that's where that suspicion because i can flip that on anybody exactly ni sema ah wewe umetoka sije wapi yeah, yeah. siwezi ku trust yeah, sije yeah, nini nini yeah. so i think and and i do i can't profess to know when you need to change your mentality mm. but why not start with myself exactly so that's why i think opportunities like this where yeah. i can sit with someone who's willing yeah are very i think this is how it starts exactly. and it's the best i can do from where i am exactly, and bro. we share each other's platforms yeah. uh, help teach people like what the values we've gained yeah. along the way are exactly. based of our different experiences exactly bro. yeah ni hiyo tu aspect ya kuwa open minded mm. everyone bro mm. ako na kitu ya ku share mm. unaelewa mm. like hata sisi wote tunaweza fanya podcast mm-hmm. unaelewa na ita tu benefit mm. like there's enough room for everyone unaelewa mm. na knowledge ni so powerful cuz leo nikitoka hapa kuna kitu wenye nimekuja kama siko anajua yeah. na nimejua na itanisaidia bro mm. sasa imagine nikimitwa say different every day una grow of course uta grow yeah. uta grow in all aspect of your lives mm-hmm. unaona utacheki uta grow kwa relationship wise eh yeah, uta grow business wise yeah. unaona so like sharing ni kitu moja mm. poa sana yep. na everyone at some point amesaidiwa mm. tusema hivyo bro yeah. Yeah. so hata wewe mali una feel uko hapo juu mm kuna msia amekushikilia ndio utafukafuka hapo lazima na ni mistake ni kwa acting ka uo mtu ha exist exactly yeah. sasa wewe umeshasaidia umefika hapo juu mm. umesahau mm. ama una feel kusaidia mtu mwingine ni kama unampatia mm. kitu kubwa sana mm-hmm. yo so hopefully vile mmesikia wili amesema hiyo area ya mindset na sisi wale watu tuko kwa fitness tujaribu tujisaidie ndo hata ikuwe easier ku create awareness huko nje. Mm. Yeah so wili shughuli nyingine nimeona uko na book hapa. Yeah. Nimeona uko na dumbbells umezi brand. Mm-hmm. Eh yeah, nimeona uko na mag zako hapa shujaa yeah. fitness. Yes. So basically naona ya like hii shughuli umeitake na seriousness flani. Mm-hmm. Na na feel ukitaka kujua like kama mtu ako serious na kitu unaangalia investment. Mm. Juu unajua hizi vitu si vitu atini si vitu umepewa. <laughs> like si vitu free. Yeah. Unaelewa ni vitu zenye ume invest bado una invest time yako. Yeah so naweza nataka kujua story ya ebook na story ya hizi dumbbells na yeah. umeniambia pia umeguzia pia hii setup ya studio yako mm-hmm. unaweza pia like kama mtu ako na content yake anaweza nataka kufanya mm-hmm. bado mnaweza ongea yeah. so naweza nataka unieleze hizo vitu at least mtu yeah. kwa understand definitely so story ya Shuja Fitness pale pe, ni yeah. lockdown yeah. so when lockdown ili happen hata yeah. uh, okay tuseme kabla ya lockdown Uh, niliona wacha ni get certification yeah. ya fitness yeah. like i said kutoka 2012 up to today nimekuwa niki tuseme niki train yeah. 
but sir uh, in the reg- in the regard of kwa a bit more serious yeah. in, ad- in my mind at the time kwa naona ku get certification yeah. ni a way i can be taken more serious yeah. but are you authority authority yeah. yeah so I, that was the essence of it how can i be more of an authority in yeah. this space yeah. um obviously some people might ob- see through that and yeah. know that a certificate doesn't make you exactly automatically better than the next yeah. person Uh, but anyway that's the route i took yeah. uh, so when the lockdown really happened ikaanza ku interfere na studies of fitness yeah. so to to code na fungi wa class nini yeah. study from home nini mara wanafungua wanafunga hey, so through that process and consuming content online something in me clicked because i'm like okay i want to be an authority yeah. and in today's world social media technology yeah. it's in our hands now yeah and i have benefited from other people who produced content yeah. so i said let me let me open a instagram page yeah. nkanzia instagram kana acha ni record my workouts yeah. nini nini nikaita shuja fitness ju the idea behind it is um, it actually is funny the logo it comes from a tattoo i have on my chest ah. and basically it's the shield of it, the the original yeah. idea kutoka kutoka the shield on the kenyan flag yeah and nikiwa maju unafilio unafilio na miss ya home, una miss home. Eh, yeah. so it came in the form of to get your tattoo so when yeah. nika nika nafikiria ni get logo nini nikaona ah so i think just again my journey kutoka kenya kurudi yeah. Yeah. somehow is this is a way of me also communicating that i've seen something yeah and for me i've seen the the value in fighting through your struggles yeah. so as a shuja you're a shuja you're a warrior yeah. you know and this this journey of fitness isn't easy yeah you, it's not easy you have to kind of unleash that warrior in exactly. yourself to, yeah. to push through the difficulties yeah uh, so that was the 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 i would say the essence of it so i opened that page um didn't really have any plan yeah. per se but nikaanza ku post my workouts uh, so through the lockdown nikaona saa gyms imefungwa yeah Uh, as someone as someone who enjoys working out yeah. ilikuwa challenge so nikaona eh sasa naweza fanya nini yeah. ndio niendelee sa my regimen kuna supplier flani wa weights alikuwa na uza hizi weights uh, nikaona ni link na eh yeah. uh, again in line with home building from home yeah. appreciating things from home i thought why not link up with this guy who is local he makes local equipment yeah. and supply locally made equipment yeah. and at the same time it's helping me because yeah. naza work out from at least tunaweza tumia equipment uh, yeah. so ilianza nika get my own equipment so venye na nazitumia home na record nini nikaona eh hey, wasa wanaweza taka kuba hizi equipment exactly. so nikaanza kuzi market ika pick up obviously due lockdown hakuna eh, mtu anaenda gym hakuna sasa mtu anaenda gym uh, so yeah. ika pick up really fast yeah. uh, wasa walianza kubai ika ika pick so i think for some time then kaona haya kuna space ya eh, kuza locally made ya, ya equipment. affordable equipment yeah. so that was actually the first part of the, the the business side of it that really caught on for me not yeah. even the training side yeah. as much yeah. but i i trained a few people online as an online coach here and there um but the equipment side really picked up and i have been on a journey to continue growing that side of the business so i also offer um the ability to install home gyms so mm. if you reach out yeah. you can talk about installing your home gym yeah. on my IG you might be able to see a few videos of me using my own uh, creations yeah. on there in my own space uh but aside from that uh, like you said nkone kitabu yeah it, this book was was written last year and it's called the basics to a better body and it's a very short book it's my It's my attempt at you know whenever you meet someone at a gathering yeah. kama mtu anapenda fitness anakuangalia anasema eh hey, unaka fit yeah. how uh, tell me how uh, and that conversation is i'm sure you can attest exactly. it's a long conversation yeah. you can't tell them do this and this exactly like where you explain the, the whole yeah. process the whole journey exactly yeah. kuna my interruptions yeah. nini so nikaona yenye nashinda niki have the experience ya ku explain ya watu yeah. lakini na feel nika siezi maliza poa exactly. juu tuko play social exactly. always yaambia mtu the full story yeah. so ilibidi nikae chini nikaona acha niandike book um kulikuwa na my inspirations flani pia wife by the 
he who finds a way finds a good thing 100% <laughs> yeah alinipusha kanisho eh yeah, ka, ka down fanyii kitu so nikaona eh nikaanza kuandika ilikuwa ina flow tu yeah. juu experience passion yeah. it all culminated into this book and it's it's a simple introduction to fitness it's easy to read yeah. uh, it goes for only 500 shillings yeah. it's an ebook yeah. so ukinitumia email na kutumia una book unatumia mtu yeah. online yeah 500 bob peke ina come na two free workout programs yeah. as well so ukitaka ku implement yeah. kuna hiyo guide pia ina come yeah. na my links exactly. na kushow venye ku do exercises do yeah. we need more information like you said 100% yeah and i think that's where i've reached in my journey producing the book and now also my attempt at content creation yeah is in line with all that yeah and trying to now consolidate this message of fitness in a way that other people yeah. can understand yeah and fast forward to also now this space that i've had for some time it may be a long process of putting things together yeah. and also giving myself the courage to speak out yeah because it's not easy yeah it's not easy it's yeah. not natural for yeah. me to speak out i'm introverted so it was just my way of finding out how else can i help other people yeah. even if i'm not on the gym floor with you yeah. you can come to shuja fitness and you'll get a well-rounded experience of fitness you yeah. can from the knowledge to the experience with other trainers yeah. on the platform yeah. stories getting to know what's out there expanding this local scene in a way where we are one and we we have a message a unified message that we're all sharing that is of value to everybody yeah. you know so that's that's the short story of that yeah. and uh tunaendelea tu ku push ah hiyo ni poa sana bro so kitu yenye naweza taka ku emphasize ni history ya ebook mimi usema books books mimi bro zime change life yangu mm. ni kwa sababu venye wewe umesema like umeka experience yako umeka ile knowledge nyu uko nayo kwa ebook mm. so tuseme uko hapo nje uko na maswali like you don't understand story of fitness like unapitia challenges na mse kama wili ameandika book e book vile amesema it's only 500 shillings like, like na 500 unaweza access a lot of information unaona like unaweza ona experience yenye huyu mse amekuwa nayo in terms of fitness ya yeah, so mimi na feel ni investment poa sana eh kwa sababu hata business wise like whether we ni entrepreneur like unataka kufanya ukipata mali mse ame take time ameka experiences zake kwa book ama ameka ile knowledge yako nayo kwa book usifeel ni kama ni unatupa pesa ama kitu kama hiyo books ni investment poa ya na pia vile umesikia amesema story za weights kama we ni mtu labda uko na space yako pale home unaweza taka ka gym pale setup nimeangalia ni mwanako na vitu poa sana unaweza reach out dumbbells zake ni poa ni mwanako na bench eh akona equipment tu like vitu zenye zinaweza kusaidia Eh, so wilio ni poa sana at least nikimitwa tu kama wewe wenye mm-hmm. wana push yani story ya fitness mm-hmm. kulingana tu na uwezo wako yeah. na feel ni kitu yeah. ni kitu fit sana and very very accessible i think for the longest time fitness imekuwa kitu mysterious yeah. imekuwa kitu xp yeah. na that's something that i hope to to counter yeah. um, in terms of fitness should be for everyone exactly bro. so hopefully what i provide is something that can help people at all yeah. economic levels yeah. um there's always an investment exactly. there's nothing that's free yeah. so we can't tell you that you can have a totally free experience because yeah. we charge yeah. but we charge what we charge for all the services yeah. for a reason because exactly. even us we have to survive exactly bro but at the end of it all i hope to provide very accessible things yeah. uh, content is free yeah. you know yeah. uh, all these other things are free but we charge for some of the things cuz still necessary yeah because yeah. pia we bado unatumia pesa mm. kupata hizo equipment yeah. yeah so venye mmesikia i think kuna kitu sijika wili ume mention mambo ya um, mtu mwenye anataka pia kufanya content kwa oh, setup yeah. yako yeah so uh, we are currently at Shuja Fitness HQ yeah. uh, Nico and his team have come and and, and taken over for the for the <laughs> moment yeah. but uh, this space is something that i hope to provide for rent for other people to use. Yeah. So in this age of content creation, I I'm not again in in league with trying to share with people yeah. in trying to grow others. Yeah. I 
want to open up this space now for other people to use. Yeah. And so anybody who's out there who's looking for a space that they would like to create content, yeah. this is Represented Studio. The name is based off of a previous podcast yeah. I had. Um, I guess that was like the launching pad for what I'm doing now. Yeah. But this space is rentable for anyone who's a, who's a, who would like to create content. Yeah. Reach out on IG. The page for the studio is called Represented Studio yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, your discussion Apple yeah. uh, consumer rates your ideas yeah I want it to be a well-rounded experience where even if you don't know exactly what you want to do to yeah. to discuss your vision yeah. and bring it to life in a way that makes sense for you yeah. again there's a cost for some of those things so but those are conversations you can have when you reach out exactly uh, but this is where I host my current show the Shuja fitcast that's on youtube it's on spotify it will be on apple podcasts very soon as well and boomplay still working on a few things behind the scenes yeah. uh, but it's right now it's available there's about two episodes out already yeah. depending on when this comes out yeah but we have a great lineup nico is on it as well exactly um just trying to trying to open up this space for more people than just myself yeah, yeah. Uh, so setup umeona setup fit hapa sana kama wewe ni mtu unafanya content creation labda wewe ni pasi hapo nje unafanya hiyo shughuli yako online akona studio poa sana hapa unaweza reach out muonge kama wewe pia ni unaweza kuwa wewe ni DJ eh, unafanya shughuli zako online ni place fit sana unaweza reach up pia muonge eh, hiyo ni the business side yenye wili anafanya so wili tukiendelea kuna kitu kingine naweza taka pia at least to clarify mm-hmm na ni story ya diet but general tu mm-hmm. siende hata deep sana venye umesema na nataka kukuuliza hizi swali sana hiyo comparison ya at least ya ya nje na hapa hivi locally home mm-hmm. una feel like kuna difference sana pande ya diet ama wewe tuseme hiyo time ukisomea huko venye ulikuwa unakula mm-hmm. na venye unakula saa hii una feel huko kuna more advantages ama like una feel iko aje unaona uh, juice zingine tunaweza kuwa tunaangalia wasio wakiwa majuu mm. in terms of diet in terms of supplements like msiana sema si unajua vile watu wana train wana sema mimi naweza taka sana kwenda majuu nikienda majuu supplements ziko kila mahali foods wasa wa majuu wako na access mm. ya foods poa nini like ni hivyo ama ni misconception hiyo ni misconception kubwa sana yeah. juu if you consider yeah. why the west has so many supplements yeah. and what is a supplement a supplement fills in what you can't get through food exactly the reason they need it is because they don't have food yeah those people struggle to grow food think yeah. about places with winter yeah. always always grow it to yeah. rice yeah. so last more important ni nini quality of food yao si poor always compare na hapa always compare uko home ukitupa kitu nje yeah. ina grow it grow you see no more yeah food uko ni cheap ni accessible ni tamu yeah. so tuko na a big advantage in terms of nutrition in terms of nutrition very big yeah. we have access we have quality yeah. as well yeah. what i would say is i guess the knowledge is just the gap there yeah. the knowledge of how much you need to eat yeah. what you need to eat yeah. maybe things are changing now when you kuna kfc kuna yeah. manini yeah. ndio saa inaanza kuwa confusing yeah. but those aside kenya ni place food ada wase wa maju hata mzungu akikuja yani food haifai kuwa issue food food si issue yeah. food si issue hata yeah. mse mse ametoka sijui wapi yeah. wase wako na kapiska ka small ka land unaweza grow kitu hapo yeah. maju i matter size ya land yako always grow vitu always you, grow you already climate yenyewe iko against si favorable yeah. so at the end of the day i think nutrition is one of the places where we can't really struggle yeah. how i was eating there is very you you have to think harder yeah. because of how much processed things they have exactly so many things are processed that you you find you're eating something unaona ah eh hiki tu ina sukari sijui how much exactly. na uko unajua uko unajua so vitu zao ni highly processed very it's in a, vitu organic ni inaccessible ni yeah. exp yeah supplements ni available but supplement ni very limited yeah. always survive on supplements well, food and the main yani yeah, yeah the main thing exactly. so even me myself at the moment just the other day nilianza ku take omega 3 na creatine yeah these are extras but yeah. before i mean before that for the most most of my fitness journey i've barely taken any food, food exactly yeah, so 
I think it's yeah, so I think vile unasikia wili akisema hiyo pia ni kitu yenye mimi nimekuwa curious sana na naweza nataka kujua but I think venye ame, ame explain ina make, ina make more sense yeah so pia mimi na feel the same way na feel tu yani ni hiyo information na feel tu yani ile gap yenye iko ni story information like watu hawaelewi na bado tunaendelea kurudia the same thing bado tunaendelea ku emphasize kama wewe ni pro Naona kama wewe hiyo ndo career yako like wewe ni nutritionist wewe ni doc wewe ni mse yani uko deep into fitness na uko na hiyo information tujaribu tu share hizi vitu wase wengi hawajui unaona kama mimi nasema vitu zingine sijui na nimekuwa kwa fitness industry at least nimekuwa active for more than 10 years sasa imagine tu mtu mwenye ndo ame decide nataka kuanza hii journey unaona like itakuwa easier for everyone sa ile information iko hapo nje information itatusaidia sana yeah so Wili manze najua tunaweza taka kupiga story sana mm. but hiyo hiyo ni kidogo tumeongea na feel kuna mtu inaweza inaweza msaidia hapo nje na na appreciate sana time yako bro Shukra. tutaendelea kuongea zaidi mm-hmm. ya yeah, so leo tunataka kuguza workout kidogo Wili yako na kabezi kake hapa home ametengeneza ka setup kapoa sana mtakacheki kwa wala watu wanakuanga na hizo excuse me siezi enda gym yeah. mimi siezi fanya nini <coughs> nataka tu muone setup yeah. ametengeneza two place yeah. kidogo like Yeah. Unaweza piga tu workout kwa hao. Mm. Yeah, so by the way na niko na mtoi mm. na nina wife. So exactly. wase wa niko na mtoto na hey, wife. Sina time. Same story. Hey, yeah, sina yeah, time. Hakuna yeah. excuse wase. Yeah. yeah, so leo mtaona tukitumia hizo equipment zenye yako nazo na tutapiga workout yetu na kuna mahali tatu benefit. Mm. So we leave manze thanks sana for your time. Thank you. Tuendele ku support yana bro. Na feel issue unafanya itasaidia wase wengi. Asante. Kama uko hapo nje angalia content za wili Shuja Fitness. Yes, uh, yeah, Fitness on everything. Shuja underscore Fitness on Instagram, uh, YouTube Shuja Fitness, um, Facebook Shuja Fitness. We have TikTok. TikTok Shuja yeah. Fitness. Yeah. If you would like to reach out for business inquiries or anything else, Shuja Fitness Warrior at gmail.com. Yeah. Uh, is on your is on your handles. Contact zangu yeah, zote. so I hope wase mmesikia. Ni mse friendly sana, ni mse knowledgeable sana. Like ni mse tu rosa afi. Unajua ndo unawashwa ingi hizi vitu za fitness. Ni poa kutembea. Una mtu wase. Mi kwa hii jamii yangu, most of the people wenye na feel wamenisaidia ama wenye wameni advice. Ni wase yani wenye tumepatana tu. Si watu wenye nilikuwa najua. Na sasa hiyo ndo ile hiyo ndo ile nguvu yenye fitness iko nayo mm. like una grow network yako unapatana na wase different mnafanya biashara mna share information at least ukitoka hapo unakuwa you are totally different person yeah so shukran sana wase na shukuru sana hiyo time manzee yenye mnatupatia mnatusikiza pia venye tumesema kama uko na swali tuulize maswali kama kuna swali yenye sijauliza wili sijauliza story ya shuja fitness ama kuna anything ungependa elaborate mta comment hapo chini mtuambie ndo the next time pia tunakaa chini tunaongea at least to discuss vitu zenye tunaona zinaweza kusaidia si wote msisahau ku subscribe msisahau ku comment msisahau ku share niko mutisi ya kila mahali niko mutisi ya youtube niko mutisi ya instagram niko mutisi ya tiktok facebook ya yeah, venye tumesema support wase ndio at least to push gospel ya fitness at least manzifikia wase wengi ya yeah, sawa cheers machamp